What is up guys, it is Gadget Guru HD here, and in this video I'm going to give you all a demonstration of how to change the soft keys on the Google Nexus 7. So the first thing that you're going to want to do here is go ahead and check out the link below in the description to this web page right here, the XDA developers link. As you can see here, there is a bunch of stuff for the Nexus 7, there's a bunch of different soft keys, and they, pr and they pretty much have a tutorial like this, but just a written one. So be sure to check this out in the description. Now the next thing you need to do is go head over to the Play Store and look up Zip Themer. So you're going to go ahead and install Zip Themer. And this is very important. Zip Themer is very, very important. So what you're going to need to do here is make sure that you're rooted, you have super user permissions and all of those things. So we're going to go ahead and to go to the top three dots on the top right hand corner and then go to update edify. So we're going to go hit select flashable file and you just need to list and um, give them whatever ROM you're on and if you're on the stock ROM rooted there's also a link on that XDA page where you can download a .zip file for that and then after you're done with that go ahead and hit configure and then you're good to go. So then we're going to go back over to the XDA link and choose a soft key that we're interested in. So I chose the hollow color, or excuse me, the cyan color low pro keys. So there's a bunch of different ones that you can choose from. Go ahead and choose the one that you like the best and download it. Once you've downloaded it, we're going to go ahead and go back to Zip Themer, hit plus theme, and then go back and find wherever you downloaded it. So in most cases, it'll be the download file. And then just go ahead and hit whatever one it is. So for me, it was the lowpro underscore keys dot zip. So I'll go ahead and just do it again for the sake of this video. And then hit plus theme. And then hit lowpro underscore keys dot zip. And then it says already loaded because I actually did it again, but whatever. And then hit build it. And then I'll go, ho I'll go ahead and overwrite it, hit OK. So now after we're done with that, we're going to go ahead and go home and we're going to boot into recovery mode. So to boot into recovery mode, you basically just need to hold down the power button and volume rocker down at the same time. So then we'll go ahead and put down the volume rocker and then hit the power button on recovery mode. So for this, make sure that you do have a backup installed. That is pretty important. That way, if something does go wrong, then you can go ahead and restore it and make sure that everything's still good. So we're going to go to install. And then you're going to see all the way down on the bottom or wherever you actually stored it, you're going to see whatever the one you chose dash update dot zip. So you want to make sure that you flash that one. And then in case you messed up, you do have the dash undo.zip, which you should have actually selected back in the zip themer. So I already installed it, but I'll just show you guys a demonstration. So I will go ahead and hit dash undo.zip. Same thing, just go ahead and hit swipe to confirm flash, and it should say successful. If for some reason it does fail, it actually did happen to me a couple times. It was actually because I had some mods on there. You're going to have to uninstall all of your mods prior to this and then reflash them again after you install the soft keys. So now we're going to go ahead and reboot the system. So for example, if you installed one of the mods that I showed you guys, like the advanced power menu, you're going to have to go ahead and restore your previous backup and then flash this and then reflash those on top of it. Also guys, just as a head up, heads up, I did find this kind of buggy. So you may have to do some of these things twice or something like that. Because maybe if it doesn't work the first time, go ahead and try wiping your cache and Dalvik cache and then reinstalling again if you already did uninstall all your mods. At the time of this video, it is still kind of buggy though, but by the time you guys are watching this, if you're watching it at a later date, everything is probably a little bit more polished up, so you probably shouldn't have any issues then. But again, that is why you should always make a backup just if something goes wrong. But as you can see here, mine did go back to the regular settings. 
So it does work. Just make sure that you do everything exactly as I did it in this video. And also be sure to check out the other tutorials on the XDA thread and also the links that they have in that thread. So anyway, this is Gadget Guru HD. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And also remember to subscribe for more content like this. This has been Gadget Guru HD, and I'll catch all of you in my next video.